Isn't that a beautiful sight? Oh. Uh, so here is Coilostylus ciliaris in lava rock, semi-hydro from the day I got her and she has been doing super well, bloomed for me the first time this year. However, you can see that she's growing out of her pot and she's growing gorgeous roots. And if you saw my Epidendrum ciliaris or steady eye video, it was quite brutal getting it out of the same setup as I have now. But it has to be done. So I want to see these roots right now and how pretty they are because I hope to see these roots afterwards. So let's get you all on a tripod and let's get going. I had her soaking quite some time now with seaweed fertilizer. I duct taped the holes. So she should be okay with regards to energy levels to endure what's going to happen. Will I be okay? I don't know. I normally have a lot of confidence in what I'm doing, but when it comes to this and in future my maxillaria, I do get nervous. So welcome back everybody. I appreciate that you are joining me on this. Let us see how we get going. I'm going to start with the tweezers and cut, edit, and move according to how I can put up the video without it getting boring or tedious because I won't be talking much, I think. <laughs> but let's get started. <laughs>
am so happy. I am so happy. Oh, oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of music there. <laughs> this is so long time ago that I did this. I didn't even tape my support. So it's gotten all nasty and rusty, but I have roots to work with. So far, I still have the live ones we're trying to protect from the beginning. Unless I just, no, there they are, phew. Ooh. But we also have some dead ones. So I'm just going to keep my eye on what's happening in the front here and get rid of the lava rock. I'm saying as best as I can because depending, I'm putting her into Lekka with self-watering so I don't have to freak out every two years, every three years. And um, I'm going to gently remove, let's say I want to remove 90% of the lava rock. If something is stuck somewhere to the point that I jeopardize a root, then I'm going to leave it alone because seeing as it's going into inorganic, then that's quite all right to leave the lava rock on. And what I can take off, which is a little bit more dirty and old and tired, that is what I will do. For me now, it's like slowly inch my way in as per usual and get some of the dead out so that I can rejuvenate the whole setup and I'll be back. So what do you think? Division time, huh? There's an eye right there. So I'm thinking to take the back off. I've done quite a bit of damage to two of the new roots that came out. We've still got 
the nice ones in the front here. But yeah, let's get this divided up. That was not a good cut. Alrighty. Now we do have some viable roots. Zoom you out. We do have some viable roots in the back, so here we go again with that fiddle. So that's what I'll be doing right now. So I still have the two roots in the front. The second piece is also growing roots going down and uh, the cuts are clean which I will now dab with cinnamon and pot up. Sprayed some alcohol onto my paintbrush because I do not want this cinnamon in the breeze to end up on any roots. So it gives me a little bit more of a grip on the powder. And this way it can stay where I have put it instead of blowing away. Then I shall be doing a bit of cleanup and we are good to go pot them up and yep she knows what's happened to her so we'll see what she does now okay so that cut is taken care of and before I take care of the next piece I am going to already put in my support so that when I'm jiggling around I'm not making too much stress putting too much stress on the roots so I'm just going to preempt a height and hope that I got it right. Let's just pinch that a bit. And do something like that. And because there was a cut in the back, maybe that will trigger something to happen even though I don't have another eye back there. So for the first year, just to see how she does, I'm gonna have her a little bit more centered than I normally would. If something happens in the back there, then great. If not, then we know. And on the next repot, I can take care of that. For now, she needs those roots and those growths to be secured. A quiet, reflective repot. That was for sure. A lot of concentration. I did damage. I expected the damage. I did not expect that I would divide her. Absolutely not. That was not part of the plan. Now let's see. I'm just watching those root tips. But once you're in to a repotting and you see something, then, you know, changing of minds happens. And on top of that, it took a lot more out of the roots. Whoa, I don't want to go that deep. I want to make sure the rhizome in the back is clear. There we go. Let that dry out. She's going to stay in this um, breeze area. There's a lot of good breeze always coming through here. She doesn't live here, but this is where she'll stay for now. But I forgot what I was going to say. Ah, yes, once I cut into that rhizome, that's when the most of the damage to the roots actually happened. Because because I had to untangle the back, which would have been unnecessary if I hadn't divided her. So there was quite a bit of root damage there, which is unfortunate. But again, my backup is I have new roots. And that is what is super important for me in projects like this that make me nervous. And that is why I'm still dithering with my Maxima. 
because despite the fact I don't like to break new roots, if I have this kind of an issue, then I'm happy to say, I've got new roots coming, it's gonna be okay. But not with the Maxima, she's not growing new roots yet. So maybe I'll just wait until she finishes blooming. And for her, I will switch on a heat mat. Favoritism much? <laughs> but then I probably have other candidates that can do and benefit from that as well. So there's that. Now, despite the fact that these, this orchid has been soaking with fertilized water, one is a piece that needs to stay strong and another is growing. So fertilized water goes back into the reservoir. And job done, I would say. Ooh, that was a nerve wracking one. We'll see how the editing goes and hope you, that you enjoyed some of it. Um, yeah, for me, the way this video went, I felt it was a very, very silent movie because I was working quietly, it didn't say much. Even if I edit things out, it'll just be uh, blank space. That's all I, I was very concentrated on this one. So one more thing, we just need the label in the back there. I appreciate having you here. Thank you so much for your company. And uh, even though I didn't say much, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Take care. Bye.